Hello all you awesome people out there. This is the morning of the seventh day of my nine day water fast. I wanna say thank you for joining me. If you kept up this far, you are awesome. You are a truth seeker. You are expanding your mind to what's possible. It is possible to go nine days and much longer uh, with not eating food and just drinking water. The body can do it. It is amazing. They don't teach this much out there. There's a few places, you know, in medical schools where they teach water fasting, but they barely touch on it. It's a real science. People have been doing it for thousands of years and it has amazing benefits. There was a bunch of movements way back in the early 1900s where people were teaching about this and doing it, performing it and getting really good results, but we've lost that in history. So just want to give you my update for the seventh day, morning of seventh day, and to recap some of the stuff from yesterday. So my weight is now 171.0. That means I have lost 14.5 pounds. My, my blood pressure is 116 over 79, still looking good. My pulse is a little bit high, it's 89. And that's probably because I have such low energy now. And so moving around and doing things is uh, pretty difficult as far as wind and lung and uh, energy wise. So my heart's probably bumping up a little bit for that. My body temperature is 97.7, which is, hey, that's really good because yesterday was 97.6 and that was the all time high. Now I have an all time high this at today. I have upped my uh, sleeping. I sleep a lot longer now, I'm just trying to make it through. And my drinking of water yesterday was down. It was 36 ounces. I just didn't feel like drinking. I got really busy and my body wasn't asking for it or anything like that. Um, I think about food a lot. I imagine certain foods and what they taste like and then it feels like my brain is telling me this is what it tastes like and you can almost taste it and then of course my stomach goes crazy so I'm dealing with that I had uh, yesterday evening a lot of stomach acid activity um, it's upset stomach the the and of course I'm doing this without any electrolytes any salts so that's probably what's causing my volatile stomach acid, if I were to introduce electrolytes, then it would solidify my stomach acid and it wouldn't be so volatile. So with that being said, I have to work tomorrow and the last day. So I'm probably gonna introduce electrolytes either tomorrow or maybe by the end of this, this evening. So I wanna get a little bit of extra oomph of energy so I can finish it out strong because I'm I'm dragging a little bit I'm just not I don't have enough body fat and my bottom is 169 and I'm right there at it and it's okay but all is well I'm still walking and talking breathing and I'm doing fine I'm very happy my prayer game is really good Having a, I have a, having a lot of connections with the Father, talking to Him. So, just wanted to give you that update. Thank you so much for keeping up with what's going on. God bless you.